Hello students, welcome to my class. Today I am going to discuss few questions related to coordination compounds. As I, as I have told you, this is one of the most important chapter related to your syllabus. So, let us move to the question answer round. So, look at my first question, what is given here, check it out, wait for a moment. Now, I am moving here, I am starting from here, that is the answer of this question, what is the question? Discuss the nature of bonding in metal carbonyls. Do you remember the example of metal carbonyls NiCO4, FeCO5, CrCO6, etc. These are the metal carbonyls, organometallic compounds. That is, there is a mat linkage between metal and directly carbon. Clear to you? Yes. What is the bonding here in this case? Listen what is that is suppose this is a metal clear wait for a moment let me draw once clear this one is metal and this one is carbonyl now it gives the lone pair of electron to this that is sigma clear now wait for a moment that is the ligand donating electron wait friend give me few second so that you can easily understand this thing clear that is the donation yes now here the empty orbitals and the back donation also possible. This is pi star and this is pi. So, in metal carbonyl, metal also donates the electrons to carbonyl that is via back bonding accepting tendency of ligands. So, in metal carbonyl, donation in both sides. Clear? due to this reason there is an involvement of pi so they are also called pi acid ligands or pi acceptor my friend clear whose are pi acceptor first of one carbonyl no plus cn minus back donation also possible this is the bonding in metal carbonyl you can observe here nickel iron CrCO6 clear to you I think now it is completely visible and you can easily understand the thing pi acid ligands or pi acceptor am I right my friend yes sir you are absolutely right here now donation here arrow here now arrow this is the back donation now I am going to rub this part and we will discuss the next question wait for a moment what is given here check it out the next question is read the question carefully what is given here the answer of this question my friend what is meant by chelate effect as we know if there is a ligand as we know the formula of ligand may be ml4 ml6 suppose if the ligand if the ligand attached to metal is polydented ligand polydented the denticity may be 2, may be 3, may be 4, may be 5, may be 6, 
clear and if it form a ring around the metal then this type of effect is known as chillet effect and it will increase the stability of the coordination compound for example if i take ptcl2 en en is ethane 1 2 diamine that is the case my friend ch2 ch2 that is nh2 and here is nh2 here the donor atom is nitrogen that is the en ethane 1 2 diamine yes sir now it will form the ring structure have a ability like nh2 ch2 and here is ch2 then nh2 then here that is clear to you this is and here is cl and cl more the more the tendency of for the formation of ring around the metal atom more is the ability uh, more is the stability of the coordination come and this effect is known as chelating effect lots of example are there e and oxalate ion that is dmg my friend diene di that is edta this all forms the ring around a metal atom and it creates the chelating effect and these are known as chelating ligand all the by uh, all the polydentate ligand which has a tendency to form the ring around the ring structure around the central metal atom are called chelating ligand and this effect is called chelating effect example is ptcl2 en clear my friend yes sir. now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question wait for a moment now the third one is what is given here read the question the third question explain conh3 hall 6 3 plus is an inner orbital complex yes whereas ni ns3 hall 6 2 plus is an outer orbital complex as we know do you remember if the hybridization is d2 sp3 then it is inner orbital complex yes sir and we know if there is a presence of a strong filled ligand a strong filled ligand then there is a possibility of the form if the if there is a presence of a strong filled ligand there is a possibility of the formation of inner orbital complex now we here given conh3 hall 6 3 plus as we know ns3 the donor atom is nitrogen if the donor atom is nitrogen carbon or phosphorus then it is a strong fill ligand and a strong fill ligand has a tendency to pair up and that's why it will form the inner orbital complex for example here cobalt is in plus 3 oxidation state the atomic number of cobalt is 27 it can be written like this argon 3d7 4s2 is plus 3 oxidation state so we will write here argon 3d6 my friend am i right argon 3d6 okay sir definitely you are telling true because there is a two electron from here and one electron from here so the electronic configuration is this one now what will happen this is the case 1 2 3 4 5 1 and this one is 3 1 2 3 that is 3 d 4 s and 4 p 6 electron 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now what is given here a strong fill ligand so it will pair up this unpaired electron like this this one and this one and what happened will in this case remove this remove this one okay sir so what we observe here what we get here there is a 2d so the electron pair will fill like this one electron pair two then three then four then five then six so the hybridization here in this case is d2 sp3 my friend again i'm repeating the hybridization in this case is d2 sp3 and d2 sp3 nr orbital complex now moving here 
Now, if I write here n i n h 3, n i n h 3 whole 6 2 plus, yes. Look at here again, this one n s 3 is a strong filled ligand, yes, a strong filled ligand. That means to say it again has a tendency to form inner orbital complex, clear? But what we observe here that is the complex is outer orbital that is hybridization is sp3 d2. It, the hybridization is not d2 sp3. What is the reason behind it? We know that is if there is a strong fill ligand then the hybridization is should be that is d2 sp3. But here the hybridization is sp3 d2 because it is my friend outer orbital complex. Now the case is what, why, okay. I have given you the detailed explanation also. Now nickel is in plus 2 oxidation state, yes sir. If plus 2 oxidation state, the electronic configuration is argon 3d8, 4s2, 2 electron released. Now what will happen like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4s, that is 4p and 4d so on 1 2 3 4 5 this is 3d 4s 4p and 4d am i right yes sir now here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 clear now ns3 strong field ligand okay definitely it will pair up this one like this if it pair us only one d orbital is vacant, but we know we need at least two d orbital either from 3 d or either from 4 d. Again I am repeating either from 3 d either from 4 d because the hybridization would be sp either sp 3 d 2 or d 2 sp 3 because the coordination number is 6. So, due to this reason, a strong field ligand does not pair up this two electron and it use the outermost D. Due to this reason, it is, it forms outer orbital complex like this one pair, two pair, three pair, four, five and six. So, the hybridization is sp3 D2, not D2 sp3. This is the case, my friend. What I am telling, sometimes you have exceptions are also there, you have to check out the things. I have given you the detailed explanation of VV theory and how to, how to find the magnetic moment and how to uh, find the hybridization also. And I am going to rub this part, I think you have written this, so I am going to rub it my friend. Now, let us move to the next question, question number 4, read the question carefully. 3 marks question, calculate the overall dissociation constant, dissociation constant or oh, calculate the overall complex dissociation if equi dissociation equilibrium constant for the Cu and S3 given that B4 for this complex is 2.1 into 10 to the power 13 is very simple that is the fifth one answer. What is given here? B4 stability constant is given here that is 2.1 into 10 to the power 3 and we know they are reciprocal with each other dissociation. Dissociation constant is reciprocal with each other. So, what will happen? Dissociation constant will be 1 upon B4. This is a simple explanation. This is the relation. They are reciprocal. Stability constant is reciprocal with the dissociation constant. So, the dissociation constant in this case will be dissociation constant will be 1 upon 2.1 into 10 to the power 13. 
or you can write here 10 upon 21 into 10 to the power minus 13. After solving, you can get the value. Am I right? Yes, sir, you are absolutely right. Now, what is the second? C R, I am moving here. Second one, C R N H 3 whole 6 3 plus, okay, is paramagnetic. This is paramagnetic, okay, my friend. And the next one is N I C N whole 4 2 minus is diamagnetic. This is the case paramagnetic and diamagnetic. Clear? What is the reason behind it? Okay. Now, this is a question. Now, I am writing here. Now, this one N H 3 and C N minus both are strong field ligand. Yes, sir. Both are strong field ligand. Okay. That means to say they are forming the inner orbital complex. Let us check chromium here, if I talk about this one, chromium here is in plus 3 oxidation state, yes, plus 3 oxidation state, the electronic configuration is argon 3D, uh, general configuration argon 3D, pardon, 3D5, uh, 4S1. Now, there is a release of electron take plus 3, that is argon 3D3. This is the electronic configuration of chromium 3 plus, yes. Now, add them, this is like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3D, 4S and 4P, 3D, 4S and 4P. Am I right? Yes, sir. Now, put it here, 1, 2, 3, okay. Now, NS3 is a strong field ligand, it will try to pair them, but here, there is two vacant d orbital already present. So, no requirement to pair this one. So, the filling of electron will start from here. That is simple the hybridization what we get d 2 sp 3 and now look at there is three unpaired electron. Yes, there is three unpaired electron and we know if there is a presence of unpaired electron then what will happen? The molecule is, the coordination compound is paramagnetic in nature, my friend. Complete inform, uh, on for explanation related to this question. If anyone asks you how to find the magnetic moment in this case, yes, sir. Magnetic moment mu is equal to root under n, n plus 2 bm, Bohr magneton, where n is equal to number of unpaired electron. What is the number of unpaired? 3. 3 plus 2 bm. What is 3 plus 2? 5 root 15 bm. Clear to you? This is the case. So, you can easily explain that is they are what my friend? That is the paramagnetic in nature. Now, check this one NiCn4. Okay. Now, NiCn4, what is the oxidation state of nickel is Ni2 plus. As we know, the electronic configuration will be argon 3d8 that is let me check once c and 4s yes. <laughs> now what will happen in this case look at now it has 5 1 2 3 4 5 clear now this one is s and this one is p 1 2 3 am i right yes sir this is 3d 4s and 4p 3s, uh, 3d, 4s and 4p. Now, what will happen? Ni2 plus and here Cn is 4 times. That is the coordination number is 4. Here the coordination number is 4. Definitely this is a strong field ligand. It will form inner orbital that is dsp square planar complex. That is dsp2 hybridization. Yes. Now, as we know nickel 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the case. Now, Cn is a strong field ligand. So, it will pair up this electron because it need only 1D, not 2D, my friend. So, what will happen in this case? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, put here 1, 
two, three, four. Now like this. Clear? Now filling will be like this. One pair electron pair. The next one is four s. The next one is four p. Now second pair, third pair, and fourth pair. Three d. 4s and 4p. 1d involvent, so hybridization is d. 1s uh, p. Now there is no lone pair of electron. If there is, sorry, no unpaired electron in this case, not no lone pair, unpaired. If there is no unpaired electron, my friend, then what will you say? This one is diamagnetic in nature. Complete explanation related to this question. Am I right? Yes, sir. Now check it out. This is the thing. Now, I am going to rub this part, my friend, and we will discuss the next segment. Now, the next one is, look at, this is a simple question you can easily solve. Now, can I, I am moving here, my friend. This is the, I am talking about the first question. The first one is one that is the answer of this question. What is given? Listen. Explain with two example each of coordination entity or coordination sphere, the same thing. Coordination entity or you can say coordination sphere. Am I right? Yes, sir. Coordination entity or coordination sphere that is this one. Suppose if I write here P T N H 3 Hall 4 S O 4. This is my friend coordination entity or the coordination sphere. The bracket in which there is a metal ion and the ligands present. This is known as coordination sphere or coordination entity. What is ligand? Ligand are those substances which contain at least one donor atom which has at least one lone pair of electron. That is the molecule which contain nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, oxygen, sulfur, etc. That is they act as a ligand. Ligand are electron pair donor. So, they are treated as my friend Lewis base. Now, there come coordination number. Simple, the number of ligand attached to the central metal atom decide the coordination number. Coordination number, as I told you, is equal to number of ligand attached multiplied denticity. As we know, ligands are monodented, bidented, tridented, tetradented, hexadented, heptadented, pentadented, so on, my friend. Clear? For example, if I write here PTNS3 Hall 4 2 plus. This is the coordination number is 4 because this is the monodented ligand. But if I write here P T E N Hall twice 2 plus. Now E N is bidented ligand and 2 times. So 2 into 2 4. So it is also a uh, uh, here coordination number is 4. Now coordination polyhydron. As we know the special arrangement of ligand around the nucleus gives you a particular structure. For example, if I write here MA4, that is it may be the structure either like tetrahedral or you can say the octa uh, or square planar. This is the case. This is ligand, 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 metal, ligand here, ligand here, ligand here. Or if the structure is MA6, that is it will be the octahedral complexes. M, this one, this one ligand, ligand, ligand here, ligand here. Ligand. This is the case, my friend. That is polyhydron. Then homolyptic and heterolytic. The type of coordination compound or the type of complexes in which, the type of complexes in which there is a attachment only one type of ligand like CUNS3, Hall 4, 2 plus. This is only one type of ligand attached. So, this is the example of homolyptic. But if, if there is more than one type of ligand, like if I write here PT, NS3, Hall 3, Cl, 2 plus or you can say 
plus minus n. Now, this is a now more than one type of ligand. So, this is an example of my friend heteroliptic. For example, if I write another example, M, A, B, C, D, four different type of ligand, heteroliptic. If I write here, M, A, B, C, D, E, F, also heteroliptic complexes. Clear, my friend? Yes, uh, definitely. This one is a correct explanation. Now, I am going to rub this part and we will discuss the next one. Wait for a moment. Now, the next one, what is given here? The second one is, what is meant by unidented, bidented and ambidented ligand? Unidented, if the denticity is 1, that is unidented ligand. For example, F minus Cl minus Br minus NH3 H2O, these are unidented or monodented. If the denticity is more than uh, is 2, like En, ethylene diamine, like oxalate ion, these all are the example of bidented ligand. What is ambidented ligand? If there is more than one type of donor atom, but at a time only one donor atom donates its electron pair, then they are my friend ambidented ligand clear to you thiocyanato isothiocyanato clear my friend this is the case ambidented ligand am i right yes sir you are absolutely right now i am going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question the next question is it's very simple you can I have we have done lots of practice on this. So, I am leaving this question for you my friend. Look at this is hexaamine, hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. Now, this one is alphabetical order A, C, N. So, what will happen tetraamine chloro nitro, tetraamine chloro or chlorido nitro cobalt 3 chloride my friend this is the case similarly this one similarly this one this one is methyl amine clear to you you can easily solve this question am i right yes sir like tih2o whole thing no i am not going to uh, solve each and every question it's your turn you have to solve this is very simple one we have done lots of practice on this now the next one is how many geometrical isomers are possible in the following coordination compound? This is the case my friend, what I am telling, how many geometrical isomers are possible in the following coordination compound? As I, as I told you, there is a rule, look at, a, this is MA3B3, if MA3B3, the possible combination is 2, that is AA, a B A A A B and B B my friend then A B A B and A B that is two possible combination so number of G I is two my friend but they are not optically active optically inactive in this case so C O C L 3 N S 3 M A 3 B 3 type. So, the number of geometrical isomer is 2. One is face, the second one is mer. Sometimes cis is cis equivalent to face and trans equivalent to mer, face and mer, facial and meridonian. Now, C R S 2 uh, C 2 C 2 O 4. Here, this is M A A 3. If the formula is MAA3, now it will not show the geometrical isomer, no GI possible is this case my friend, clear? This is the case, no GI is possible, that is the oxalate ion, am I right? Yes sir, you are absolutely right here. Now let us move to the next segment, the next question, what is given here, wait for a moment. write all the geometrical isomer of ptns3 and how many of this will show optical activity i have done this during my lecture also what is the form is 
m a b c d my friend this is the case now what is the possible combination yes sir a b c d first combination second combination a c b d yes sir now the next combination is a d b c now three combination so number of g i is equal to 3 this is one of the shortest technique to find out now here a b is p t n h 3 b r so in case of p t n h 3 b r c l p y this is the case now total number of combination yes sir combination is first one is n s 3 b r and c l p y first combination yes sir the second combination is tell me that is n h 3 c l and b r p y yes sir the third combination is n s 3 p y yes sir then b r and c l now combination that means to say for example if i write like this that is my friend square planner that is p t p t here now put here n s 3 put if you put here n s 3 so put here c l uh, sorry b r put here b r opposite each other perpendicular like this and put here c l uh, pardon c l like here you can put also here p, uh, p y and c l this is the first one similarly n s 3 c l b r b r p y clear to you this is the case to write down the how to find the geometrical isomer now how many of these will exhibit optical isomerism my friend this is the big case generally in case of a b c d till now no optical isomer is isolated till now no optical isomers is completely isolated mer is completely isolated still they say that is the case only one case that is we know if i write here m a this one is c this one is b and this one is d there is the possibility of the mirror image formation take place that is b that is c and this one is my friend d that is non superimposable mirror image so we can say by the theory that is it can show the optical activity that is total possible isomer that is one d form l l form that is one possibility that is they can show the optical isomer is but again i am repeating till now no optical isomer is, is isolated practically but according to your book it is given here there is a possibility clear my friend this is the complete explanation now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question now the next one is this is the case my friend discuss the nature of bonding in the following entities now this is the hybridization basis of valence bond theory f e c n hall 6 4 here c n is my friend a strong field ligand okay a strong field ligand it is a strong field ligand definitely if there is a strong field ligand and the coordination number here is 6 if the coordination number is 6 and a strong field ligand then the hybridization will be my friend d2 sp3 inner orbital complex now iron here is in plus 2 oxidation state and what is the electronic configuration will be here that is ar 3d6 am i right yes ar 3d6 now what will happen that is the d this one is s and this one is p okay now 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 due to the presence of a strong field ligand the pairing take place now they will move here so what will happen the filling will be done like this one electron pair 2 3 4 5 6 d 2 sp3 my friend 
and no unpaired electron no unpaired electron so this one is my friend diamagnetic in nature what i'm telling this one is diamagnetic in nature clear okay am i visible good now next one next one you can do it now do it for me i am not going to solve each and every question is very simple for you i have discussed lots of problems on this f e f6 as we know f is my friend this one is weak field ligand this one is weak field ligand that is coordination number here is 6 so we know it will form outer orbital complex that is sp3 d2 yes definitely here iron is in plus 3 oxidation state if it is in plus 3 oxidation state what will happen that is argon uh, pardon argon 3d5 clear to you because this is fe3 plus oxidation state now what will happen in this case that is 1 2 3 4 5 that is 4 s this one is 4 p and second one is 41 2 3 4 5 now look at here 1 2 3 4 5 now as we know this is, is a weak field ligand so it will not pair up this unpaired electron so the filling will start from here this one is 4 s 4 p and 4 d one pair two pair three pair four one two three four pair five pair and six pair so hybridization is sp3 d2 there is a presence of unpaired electron so this one is my friend para magnetic am i right similarly you can do this one this one c2o4 oxygen is a donor atom if oxygen is a donor atom we know this is a weak field ligand this is also a weak field ligand and you can find each and everything related to this this is the beauty of this chapter clear yes sir definitely now the next question look at here what is a spectrochemical series as we know the arrangement of ligand suppose if i compare cn and f minus as we know cn minus has high value of crystal field stabilization energy the arrangement of ligand according to their cfse value give rise to a series is known as my friend spectrochemical series clear to you yes explain the difference between a weak field ligand and a strong field ligand weak field ligand has low value of cfse for example if i write here d4 configuration clear and if there is a weak field ligand octahedral complexes if there is a weak field ligand so what will happen in this case the first one each orbital get one electron t2g3 and eg but if there is a strong field ligand do you remember crystal field theory strong field ligand so what will happen in this case that is we will write t2g4 then eg0 first all uh, pairing will take place then further movement so this is the difference between weak field ligand and a strong field ligand weak field ligand that is maximum number of unpairing here that is we know we can say high spin complex weak field ligand always form high spin complex my friend but strong field ligand forms my friend low spin complex because there is a pairing take place so in terms of cfse weak field ligand has low value of cfse but a strong field ligand has high value of cfse my friend this is the case that is weak field and strong field ligand low value and high value of cfc I, I have taken the example of octahedral complex now what is crystal field splitting energy what is crystal field uh, uh, splitting energy as we know when the d subcell splits due to the presence of ligand 1 2 3 4 5 that is it breaks into 
two parts. First one is T two G and the second one is E G. E G has higher energy and T two G has lower energy. This is the body center and for octahedral complexes this is the case my friend. Now the energy gap between the T 2 G and E G is known as my friend crystal field splitting energy. For octahedral complex this is delta naught, for tetrahedral complex this is delta T and what is the relation between delta T? 4 upon 9 delta naught my friend clear to you this is crystal field splitting energy. Now how does the magnitude of delta naught decide the actual configuration of d orbital in coordination entity yes definitely wait for a moment as we know if delta naught is greater than pairing energy. This is a two, play, uh, two case if delta naught is less than the P for pairing energy then what will happen my friend if delta naught is greater than the pairing energy then what will happen that is there is a formation of low spin complex and here if less than that is there is a formation of high spin complexes. For example, if delta naught is greater than P and it is a D4 configuration then what will happen it can be written like this T2G. Uh, greater than T 2 G 4 E G 0, but if less than P it can be written like the T 2 G 3 E G 1. First pairing will be done in strong field ligand that is the low spin complex yes sir and in this case first one electron then pairing will be done. This is the case of high spin complexes my friend low spin and high spin complexes. This is the case related to that is the impact and high low spin complex for a strong field ligand and high spin complex for weak field ligand and we know a strong field ligand high value of delta naught and weak field ligand has less value of delta naught. This is the complete explanation related to this chapter. I have taken each and every question related to your NCRT books my friend and definitely it will help you a lot my friend. So my friend time has come time to say bye bye thank you so much.